गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स यू आर मोस्ट वेलकम टू थिंक आइस चैनल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस प्रैक्टिसिंग एंथ्रोपोलॉजी बाय मानिक नू एंड अवर टॉपिक इज डिजास्टर मैनेजमेंट लेट इज बिगिन द टॉपिक इंफॉर्मेशन एजुकेशन एंड कम्युनिकेशन द आई ई सी मॉडल इट इज़ अ स्ट्रैटी एंड एन अप्रोच दैट अटैम्प्स टू चेंज अ सेट ऑफ बिहेवियर इन द टारगेट ग्रुप इन द एरिया ऑफ डिजास्टर मैनेजमेंट वन वुड लाइक टू चेंज द परसेप्शन ऑफ द पीपल रिगार्डिंग द इंटायर प्रोसेस ऑफ डिजास्टर मैनेजमेंट it is necessary to make people understand that pre disaster preparedness is as important as post disaster recovery for effective management and for doing this job one needs to communicate with the people going by a simple definition of communication it is a process that establishes commonness among the receiver of the message and the sender the information encoded in the form of message is needed to be communicated in the lingo franca of the community where the change is desired this message can be about the importance of sanitation in the case of disaster or spread of communicable disease during various disasters and precautions that one should take to avoid them the message can also be about do's and don'ts in the wake of an earthquake or a chemical attack or a gas leak or about something most important in a disaster situation early warning signal it has been documented during a field work by an anthropologist in a flood prone area of eastern uttar pradesh that even though people were provided with the warning of an impending flood they refused to act upon that warning a deeper probe into the reason revealed that people do not trust the source of warning as sometimes in the warning is correct and sometimes it is not thus credibility of the source provided providing the message is also important again the message should be encoded in such a way that it is easily understood by the majority of people if the message is too technical or very lengthy then people might not take it seriously the anthropological approach comes in handy at this point where an anthropologist tries to help the local authorities to create such a message that that is embedded in the cultural context of the receiver there are various ways in in which the local authority tries to inform educate and communicate message across the people across to people but they are not successful all the time and then they complain about non compliance of the people if one would visit any disaster prone area then one would find such pamphlets and handouts stuck on the wall of various government and non government buildings sometimes these messages convey the meaning but sometimes they fail to do so here an anthropologist with local knowledge can be of help in designing and conveying messages effectively across different communities a field experience is worth sharing we are a method of communicating vital issues regarding floods was devised here a disaster management chariot locally known as aapda prabandhan rath was devised in a form of a jeep carrying a loud speaker which traveled from village to village educating people about how by using empty plastic bottles they can make their own life jackets which can be used for keeping afloat during floods this seems to be an effect effective strategy of educating people but after some time it seemed to the author that people lost interest in the process as the chariot arrived in the village only a few people gathered around it and participation on a large scale was missing the use of a loud speaker blocked two way flow of knowledge it was more like a one way traffic it could have given better results if this method was negotiated at both the ends sender and receiver people could have shared their previous experience with similar methods or must have shared their concern regarding the availability of empty plastic bottles etc these are some observations that an anthropologist can make during field work and can suggest for better alternate strategy 
and thus contribute towards effective disaster management. A comprehensive IEC strategy aims at long-term capacity building at the grassroots level. This leads to empowerment of the target population through education as they are placed in a better position to make informed choices. Activity What should do? Devise an innovative and attractive message using audiovisual or simply on a paper using colors that can educate people about health issues after floods like sanitation, cleanliness, safe drinking water, etc.